The fifth episode starts with Tim and Ping, two students of an all-boys school. They tie a boy to a chair and hold him captive as they need to copy his homework. At school, everyone is afraid of a teacher named Y1. The latter heads to see Cook and Tinoy as she owes her a big sum of money. The cook promises to reimburse her soon. The two women fight until teacher Mr. Knob intervenes, stating that they need to get along. Besides, the students are watching and their fight sets a bad example for them. The principal then interrupts them and mispronounces the word teacher. Ms. Y1 corrects him and scolds him in front of everyone. The principal also owes her money and when she mentions it, he scrambles away. All the students at school make fun of her and draw her. She stumbles upon some funny drawings of her on the school walls. They even prank her by blowing up a bag of flour on her face. She finds the cheeky boys, Tim and Ping, and punishes them with her cane. The janitor asks Tim and Ping why they love teasing their teacher. Tim calls her a tyrant and bad-tempered woman. He advises the kids to get back at her. Tim comes up with a brilliant idea. At night, they head out of their dormitories to execute their plan, which involves scaring her wearing creepy masks. They are shocked to come across Y One's headless body, and they're petrified and start running away. But she's not out to get them like they think. They manage to escape the place, though. The next day, another student is watering the plants in the greenhouse, when he stumbles upon a hand buried in the dirt. He explains to the other kids that Miss Y One's body is buried there but the police haven't found her head yet. Tim and Ping left their phones in the room where the teacher was. They fight about who should go and get it. They take a kid with them to investigate her room and search for their phones. The kid starts sprinkling holy water as they believe that they saw a ghost the night before. Tim finds some of her drawings on the dressing table and cries apologizing as he didn't mean to hurt her feelings. The boys can't find the phone in the room though, they find the headless teacher in another room. The kid runs away and locks them inside with her. Ping is afraid of her, so he calls his number and the headless teacher picks up. He begs her to give him his phone back. Tim slaps him and reminds him that she's headless, so she can't hear him. She then shows up next to them and hands them the phone, but they scream upon seeing her up close. Her head is somewhere cold and she reassures them not to be frightened. She just wants their help in finding her head. She starts crawling on the floor and playing charades with them to communicate what she wants. When Tim goes to his room, he checks his drawings and sees how Ms. Y1 graded them and praised him for his creative side. He realizes that his teacher is a good person after all. The next day, Ping reveals to Tim that the principal saw the headless teacher's ghost at night while he was dancing with his girlfriend, as she wanted her money back. In the showers, Tim decides to try and find the teacher's head as he promised. He asks for Ping's help, but he refuses. He tries to force him, but Ping tries to kiss him. So Tim blackmails him that he'll tell everyone that he tried to kiss him. Ping has no choice but to accept to help him. They meet the headless teacher, and she tells them that she feels cold, so the boys figure that her head must be with Cook and Tinoy. Then they investigate Janitor Rang. Tim is unable to break into his storage until the headless teacher shows up and breaks the padlock. They then find Y1's head. However, they hear someone come in, so Tim hides inside the freezer. Teacher Nob shows up and hears Tim sneezing. He tries to capture Tim and Y1's body. Tim and Pink use Y1's head to knock Nob out and tie him up. Y1 is able to reconnect her head to her body and the memories of how she was killed come flooding back to her. At the school, after dark, she saw Nob trying to molest a student and filmed him. When she confronted him, he hit her and slit her throat. When trying to bury her, he accidentally severed her head from her body and hid it in the freezer, so when she woke up, she didn't know where her head was. Tim and Peng apologize to teacher Y1 for being mean to her and offer her flowers. Y1 forgives them, and gives them a box that explodes, splashing them with flour. She laughs at them, and the three dance.